guys and welcome to DMG Mori Technology Days here just outside of Chicago. Ian Sandusky back here again for Practical Machinists and today we're going to be going live from here a few times. We're going to go take a full tour of this place to start but make sure you stay tuned throughout the day because we're going to be getting deeper into some of the new releases and exciting new technology here at DMG Mori. So right here they just redid the, uh, the lobby here in Hoffman Estates. You can see up here on the, on the left side we have our additive machining. And then if you turn just here, right here, you can see subtractive machining. These are two things that DMG Mori is really focusing on. And as you see when we get in there, this is something they're doing extremely well. The other thing I thought was really cool here in the lobby, because you know, massive subtractive machines, massive additive machines, it all kind of started from right here. This is a vintage Mori Seiki lathe. Um, you still see tons of these out in the field. Great condition, this is a 1963, 1969. Very cool to have this piece of history right in the center of the lobby. But of course, we need to go see what's brand new in there. Come on guys, let's go take a walk. So I'm told that there are literally thousands of attendees signed up this week, so this place is gonna get very busy, very exciting. You can feel it when you walk in here right now. Um, there are some brand new machines that weren't here the last time we were here, back for innovation days. But the one thing I do, of course, wanna point out, is the DMU 40 plus that was just released earlier this year these are those super efficient small footprint machines um, they are five axis and of course you can pair those with the robo to go if you didn't catch it last time these are very very flexible automation packages that integrate directly with the DMG Mori machines so you can program everything from the same controller or you can do it independently on the other side let's keep going guys there's too much here to see to stay in one place for long of course, every time I walk in here, I see one of my favorites, the INH-63. That premiered last year, I believe, at Emo in Germany. That is that giant, giant mill that has the AI-powered chip detection. So if there's a chip somewhere in there, there are cameras that detect it, and a coolant line will literally go and target it and knock it out. So very, very good for chip control and chip management. Moving in here, of course, the one thing that you always see at the DMG Mori Technology and Innovation Days are all their partners. They have DMQP, which is a DMG Mori qualified partners. So these are gonna be tooling uh, vendors, these are gonna be software, these are gonna be work holding, that are all endorsed and qualified by DM DMG Mori to run in DMG Mori machines. Oh man, this place is huge. The one thing I gotta make sure I show you guys, this is the brand new premiere of this machine. Everybody loves the NLX mill turn centers. This is the brand new NLX 2500 second gen. So this is a very, very capable, very fast, very precise uh, turning center that does come with the live tooling, uh, Y axis extended on this one. And it can go actually up to four inch diameter for bar spindle capacity, which is very, very large. Of course, you can see these can be paired with bar feeders, and I always say to people, when you're looking to get into automation, this is a very easy and very effective way to do it. Um, you know, you set up your bars, program it up, and that thing will go and run that all day. Very exciting. We're gonna be getting more into that machine a little bit later. I wanna take a deep dive on it, but for now, we gotta keep moving. Over here, we have the DMU 75 monoblock. Gorgeous, gorgeous machine. You can see that demo running in there right now. It looks like it's doing some kind of turbine blade. These machines are just absolutely beautiful to watch run. That of course is paired with a software, we covered it a little bit last time, but we might get into it later, that actually gives you a digital twin, not only of your machine, but of your workpiece based on the vibrations in the spindle. So it can detect whether there's deflection, whether your part's intolerance, so you can actually build that model off of it as your machine runs. Very, very cool. Let's keep going, there's a lot to see. Of course we have the uh, vertical mate, Oh, the vertical mate's not over this way. I'm looking in the wrong spot. Here we have another DMU 40 Pro. So the one at the front was the DMU 40 Plus. This is just a different package. As you can see, these are really cool because they're a very, very small footprint. So everybody loves the big DMU uh, 75s and the DMU 50s. This has all the power of a machine like that, just much smaller. So you could put three or four of these in a row, you know, where you may only be able to put one INH. It really depends on your needs. Of course, we have tons of automation here. Um, this is an NLX 2500, I believe this is a Gen 1. It's running with another robot. Very high production, very nice unit. 
let's keep moving along here. The other thing that is newly released just for this technology days is the Celos X system. This is very similar to some of the things you may have seen out there on controllers, but also very, very different. Um, extremely powerful, basically gives you the ability to do just about anything you want to do with your machine. Programming, you know, you can do five axis programming straight from here. It's a very advanced controller that just came out. We'll be getting into it a little more later, but the cool thing is they do have these here. So if you want, you can go play around with it without screwing up one of the machines. Very cool stuff. Back here, we have one of my favorite machines. I always love to see this. This is a multi-sprint 36. This is that crazy six, I believe it's six spindle Swiss that also has two sub spindles plus a robot. So this thing is made for super, super high production. This would be probably comparable to a rotary transfer machine if you've ever seen one of those um, in terms of production and accuracy. Very, very cool stuff. If you come by, make sure you take a look. Of course, we have the absolutely giant machine that we saw here last time. We won't spend much time on it, but this is a enormous uh, six axis machining center. You can see it's basically a giant horizontal with that enormous trunnion on there. You can see that block up there. That's the actual size of the workpiece that you can put on there. Absolutely huge. That says max diameter of 60 inches, so five feet. You can get a workpiece up there that size. Over here, we have some of the additive and grinding because you know we do subtractive, we do additive, we do grinding, all in these DMG Mori machines. On this side, we do have the laser tech machines. These are obviously gorgeous. This machine will uh, mill, turn, additive, subtractive, and grind all in the same machine. Um, when you see all these really cool work pieces, most of them are coming out of a machine like this. The other thing we have over here this is another brand new release, is the MGX30. This is a cylindrical grinder that can do OD and ID grinding. It will actually tool change out the grinding wheels. We're gonna get a little deeper into it a little later. It does have a hydrostatic grinding spindle, spindle as well. These machines are very, very cool. If you've ever seen thread grinding, that's what these machines can do absolutely all day. You can see it looks like it's almost doing an HSK tool holder in there right now. Very, very cool stuff. And of course, we have the giant LaserTech 125DED hybrid. Um, that is basically an enormous five axis DMG Mori mill that also has an additive head that can come in, print multiple materials, clad materials, you know, print it up, mill it down. Whatever you want to do, this machine can pretty much do it. Anyway, moving through here, we have the SLM machines. Those are the powder bed laser machines. These are actually made in the USA available. So for any kind of ITAR defense type stuff, you know, they have requirements that you need to make them on American machines. These are actually made out in Davis, California by DMG Mori. We'll get into those a little deeper in a little bit. Over here, we have some more of the American made machines. We have the NHX system over here with a giant pallet pool. These are gorgeous machines. Oh, you can see in here, it's doing a giant demo right now doing a very big mill turn looking part. That's a big cutter, that's gonna be fun to watch. We'll have to get a closer look at that in a little bit. And of course we have Heimer, one of the qualified partners. So that's all your shrink fit, that's all your pre-setting. Because when you're using a machine that can hold microns, you also need to set your tools to microns. And coming around to the front here, we have an NHX 4000. I love this machine, again with a pallet pool. Looks like they're using some Walter tools in there right now. You can see that machine actually has a tombstone in it. So this thing could do very, very high production. But if you look at the pallet pool over here, you know, the nice thing about these machines, you can have a pallet that's set up on a tombstone for high production, but you could have four other jobs set up and you could just queue them in here, run four different jobs, four different setups, and it runs all night or all weekend. So there you have it guys, we're gonna be going live from here all day, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're in Chicago already for IMTS, make sure you swing by Technology Days here at DMG Mori anytime during the week. Make sure you stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching guys. You take care.